Hi, my name is Robbie Rapella and I'm president of the Rapella Group. We're an international executive search firm. I also work on the side giving back to the community and I teach the SAFE program and have done so for almost nine years. SAFE is sex and family education. It's a sexual abstinence program. So in essence, I am the STD teacher for two counties um, in the Panhandle of Florida, both for Santa Rosa and Escambia County. I've um, been doing this for many, many years, going to teen courts, going to some high schools, but mostly I teach seventh and eighth graders um, about sexual abstinence. Um, the first day is the emotional consequences of becoming sexually active. Second day would be the physical consequences of becoming sexually active. And number three is planning and goals and the consequences of your life if you were to choose to become sexually active and how it can screw everything up. So it's almost like a vision casting program. It's, it's an excellent program that has been well received and I've been told by the teen court officials that I am the most requested speaker. I just wanted to reach out to you today because um, speaking with Karen, she let me know that um, she is promoting a curriculum that really helps kids get on the right foot so that when they get into the school programs and people are pegged and put into different levels, whether it be the lowest level, which which would be of course special needs and then you have the next level and then a medium level and then a high level. One of the things that I have personally witnessed going into the schools is we do a questionnaire. When you get into the highest level of kids, almost zero are sexually active during seventh and eighth grade, almost zero. Um, they're very focused on being connected um, to their studies, to their future, um, continuing on with higher goals and college education and they seem to be um, a mature group of individuals with high self-esteem. When you get into the middle group, you have for the most part very few are sexually active. Some have dabbled with it perhaps, but um, more or less they're still a pretty strong group of individuals. When you get into the lower group, Unfortunately, many, many of those kids have become victims um, with sexual predators or they have been through low self-esteem, affirming themselves through sexual activity. And what's really sad is when you get into the special needs group, almost 100% of them, um, especially by high school, have already been exposed um, in a sexual way to abuse or to manipulation. So just wanna really encourage you to push your kids to do their absolute best. And it's so important that you invest time into your kids and you give them the best um, material possible so that they can have a bright and wonderful future.